Esther, Evelyn, Eliana. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Just eating? Yeah. Having a little snack? Yeah. What are you eating? Yeah. That cheese stick? Yeah. Say cheese. Cheese. Stick. Hi, Good job, guys. Hi, hey, Mia. Hi. Oh, I love that dress. And the clip. And the clip. Oh, we're going to show off the clip. Oh, wow. That's I have a, more clips. How many do you have? She has a bunch more you have a here. Baggie? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, 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 it's easier to keep them all into black bags. So, I guys, just finished doing all their hair. Where's Leia? Leia! Leia's little hair looks so cute. Look. You guys, it was so funny. Leia. Oh my god. Oh my god, Leia. I was doing all of their hair. Oh, those are all your hair bags? Yeah. That's hair. awesome. I was doing all of their hair and then Leia literally comes in line behind them and she's just like so like eager and waiting like to, so I can do her hair too. And I've actually never put her hair up before but I was like, okay, oh fine. Oh my like, god. Let's see what hair I can grab. Leia? Leia, did mama do your hair? She did so yeah. good. She did? It's, you look like alfalfa. You guys look so pretty. You look like alfalfa. You look so Very cute, pretty. Leia. Oh my goodness, Sammy. That's a cool hat. Is that a Barbie bathtub? That looks very cool, buddy. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it can. Here's the little man. Little Ezra bouncing away. We're still snowed in. Still stuck in the house. Trying to think of things to do. What to do. So on days like this when we're snowed in, we love to listen to music. And so to do that even better, Cove sent us this. Amazing split Bluetooth speaker. So check that thing out. It literally splits in half so your kids can share. So you get the really cool left right audio sound when it's split. And then when it's together, you get the whole 360 sound. It's super durable. It's super tough. This thing is called the Commuter 2.0. Now what we love to do is put the one speaker down on the counter over there and then put the other speaker down over here. So you get that full sound throughout the whole house. It's seven hours of battery life on a single charge, 32 foot Bluetooth range and it's water resistant. So I mean, this thing is awesome. It sounds incredible. Let's take a listen. So now here's one of our old videos. Let's turn the volume all the way up. Does that sound good, Mia? Yeah. Oh, and check out the LED lights on either side, Mia. That's super cool. Show them the lights. Show them the lights, Sammy. Look at that. That's awesome. So now obviously it's super hard to capture sound on camera because a microphone can only do so much, but take my word for it, it sounds amazing. So Cove just launched four exciting new colors, sand, concrete, stone, and terracotta. The terracotta color is an exclusive with, between Cove and Vanity Planet. Now this color here is stone, which honestly we really, really love. We love that kind of like soft, light tan color. It's like totally our vibe. Now, if you guys want one, they're currently offering 67% off. That's right, 67% off. They're offering it to you guys for $82.50 when it has a regular price of $229.99. So go make sure to click the link in our description and check them out, guys. Huge shout out to Cove. Thanks again. <laughs> what are you guys building? A tab, bro. Oh, wow. 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 That looks kind of so big. <laughs> that, that looks right. awesome. No, yeah, it's not a house. Is Sammy almost ready? Yeah, almost ready. <laughs> That's okay, Sammy, really one big. more, and then you can break it, okay? On your mouse? On your mouse? On your mouse? Ready, Sammy? Three, two, one, three, two, one go! go! Another one? Yeah. Mia actually broke the first one and uh, he was able to yeah. break this one down. Good job, buddy. That was awesome. Good job, guys. Thanks for the help. You guys want to make another one? Yeah. How about now I make from, from the big Legos? Okay, now let's try and make a big one. Okay? You do it. You do it. From the Legos? You guys cooking a basketball? Yeah. Yeah? He Is the basketball supposed to be like a ham or something? Or like yeah. a roast beef? Yeah? Oh, so there's all your veggies? Yeah. Wow, those are some good looking veggies. Let's go. 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 Let's
practicing it. Keep practicing, okay, girl? It is an absolute mess in here. But it is what it is. What is it, Leah? Well, Leah, what is it, Leah? We have to change her clothes because she had a little accident. Look at her hair. Oh my gosh, Leah. Guys. In the, in, guys, your inside voices, remember? Yeah. It's okay, just, just get off, Evelyn. You can get off, you know how. Come on, show mama how you can get off. Thanks, Nia, it's okay. Leia, you just chilling? Yeah, these girls are getting, um... You want a ball, Eliana? Ball. Ball. Eliana, can you share? Say hi. hi. Say hi, grad fam. Hi. Say grad, grad. fam. Hi. Say I love you, grad fam. Mm. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss, kiss. Mm. Mm. She can see it better if she says it. Oh, careful, careful. Boy, give me huggies. Aww, give me kisses. Eliana. Ah. How sweet. Can I have the ball? Please, 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 please. please. <laughs> so, who wants to go take a nap? Oh, come on. It's already past your nap time. I'll have to play a little more. We'll put them soon. Okay, you guys get 10 more minutes, okay? 9,000. 9,000? 9,000 yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah. 10 more minutes, and then it's nap time. <sighs> okay, so the kids are finally asleep. Well, some of the kids are asleep. The triplets and Leia are napping. Ezra's still awake right there. Yeah, he's right behind you guys. And me and Sammy. Me and Sammy are hanging out. But, so obviously by the title of this video, you guys know that Dama has to get a little surgery. What kind of surgery? What's the severity? Like, what's going on? I'll okay, let her take honestly, it away. I didn't really want to talk about this because I feel like it's something personal that should be kept to myself. I don't really like to, you know, go and tell everybody my personal problems. But um, I feel like I have to explain this because of the last video that we uploaded with you know, to check if I was pregnant with baby number eight, um, which we did think I was actually pregnant. Okay, so I don't wanna go like too into detail, but like the past few months, I guess, not the past like two months, there has been like some things going on, I guess, uh, with myself, with like my uterus and, I mean, it's nothing major. It's just like hormonal changes and bleeding and, um, like more pain on the inside, pain at my incision where I had the C-section, um, like pain in my uterus, like stuff like that. Um, so my, obviously I have talked and seen my OBG already. I have talked with him about everything, told him exactly what's going on and he knows that we don't, you know, prevent our children, we don't stop any, you know, don't use any like hormone birth control. So he knows all that and he obviously suggested for us to um, wait 18 months to get pregnant again, but he's not gonna like. He can make his suggestions, but ultimately yeah. it's our decision. I told him like the past two months that I have like having like light bleeding and I've been having more pain and he suggested, and I told him my symptoms. I've been feeling more weak more tired, um, having more pain, uh, sometimes like dizzy, lightheaded. Um, but the bleeding is really light and sometimes when you're pregnant or when you first get pregnant, you have implantation bleeding. So you think, some women think like, oh, I might be pregnant, I'm having implantation bleeding. But um, obviously it wasn't that because the test was negative. So the doctor actually suggested for me to take a pregnancy test, as you guys saw in the last video. And I took a pregnancy test and obviously it was negative. Yeah, so the results from that video, from that test are like, you know, we didn't know she wasn't or if yeah. she was. So that was like a genuine test that we took. So he suggested, it's not a major surgery, it's called a DNC. Many women have probably gotten this surgery before. Do you know what DNC stands for? A dilation and curatage procedure, also called a DNC, is a surgical procedure in which the cervix lower narrow part of the uterus is dilated so that the uterine lining can be scraped with a curette to remove abnormal tissues. Yeah, so uh, my OB is obviously, he's thinking that like all my symptoms that we thought I was pregnant because all the symptoms, he thought that all those symptoms were coming from pregnancy, but since I'm not pregnant, he thinks that 
um, there may be like abnormal tissues or something going on in the uterus. So that's why they're doing the DNC to clean out the uterus, just to clean out the inside to see if that helps and stops the bleedings and helps my symptoms, you know, get better and eventually go away. And obviously, um, the DNC is scheduled like, like a month from now, cause that's like the earliest date they had. So I just have to wait till then. But um, he did try some other things to like help my symptoms, which yeah. So she's been on like a host of medication and antibiotics, yeah. And all that just like stuff. some medication to see if it was an infection, but it wasn't an infection. So that's why now we're going towards the DNC, which is I'm, I'm sure many women have gone this surgery before. I'm not complaining or anything. We don't really know the issue though, so that's why the DNC is happening. And um, obviously, if the DNC so doesn't, so they're gonna put like a scope down there to try to see what's going on. Oh well, on. I was gonna say that too. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna do the DNC, and then they're also gonna put a scope to see if they can find anything like abnormal or weird going on in the uterus. So, and then we're gonna go from there. So yeah. I can't really say what's gonna happen after that. They're just gonna see. Um, if they can find anything in the uterus or on the outside, see what's going on. Uh, like why I'm having these symptoms and like bleeding and stuff. Yeah, so, so wanted to let you guys know, you guys are like family to us. So. Yeah, so of course we believe and our faith is to, you know, not stop our children. But of course my health is very important and we do take that very seriously. I have been talking with my OB about everything. So he knows that if I get pregnant, like he knows what to do and how to handle it. But I just think it's obviously since the test was negative, it wasn't God's timing for me to get pregnant since I have other issues going on right now. So um, we are obviously happy with all the kids we have and love every single child that we have so much. We love them all the same and we're very thankful for them. It's not like we're begging God for more. You know, if God decides to bless us with more kids, then yay. But if not, then it's still yay because we have seven kids already and we love them so much. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out because um, I felt like I had to. Anyway, for now, we're just going to wait till the DNC happens within like the next month. And then um, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah. If, if there's anything major that they find or... Anything that's going on, you guys will eventually find out. We'll let you guys know. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Keep Dom on your prayers. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing major, but I'd appreciate it. Either thank way. you. Keep on your prayers, guys. God bless you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to click the link in the description. Check out Cove Audio. And we'll see you guys next week. God bless you guys. God bless Bye. you guys. Bye, guys.